Hello, and welcome to the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Mary Doyle of the Public and Congressional Affairs Office. Meals ready to eat have been around for about 20 years, but the Combat Feeding Directorate is always looking for ways to improve on a good thing. Making MREs lighter in weight and less bulky to carry has been a top priority, particularly for those warriors who are the first on the ground in conflict. To meet that challenge, a new ration will be introduced in 2007. The first strike ration is designed to provide the warfighter with food that can be consumed on the move with little or no preparation. Pocket sandwiches, pouched tuna, and beef jerky are just some of the high density calories available in the new ration. It's a compact eat on the move assault ration that's been designed um, to be consumed during the first 72 hours of intense conflict by forward deployed troops. So it would be the first on the ground, first to fight warfighter that would be getting this ration. We have beef jerky, there are energy, um, high energy drinks that are part of it. We have a caffeinated gum um, and a, a z applesauce, which is a carbohydrate fortified applesauce that's intended to improve military performance. So all of these comprise um, one menu of the first strike ration. What we've done is tried to design a ration for 24 hours for one person containing all of those components that they would typically take with them. Prior to an assault, warfighters have been known to open and field strip their MREs to make them easier to carry and consume on the move. Meal developers have learned that warriors would throw away as much as 50 percent of the MRE. Not because a warfighter doesn't like it, but because he or she is trying to lighten the load to the maximum extent possible and only take those components that are easy to consume and are lightweight. So if we can do that ahead of time uh, and, and apply a concept called first strike ration, we can actually, actually provide one first strike ration per warfighter per day instead of three MREs. But I don't care how lightweight you make it, uh, how uh, uh, low in cube uh, you can develop it, and how inexpensive you can buy it. If warfighters are not going to consume it, then you really haven't accomplished anything. The first strike ration contains a total of 2,900 calories and is designed to provide meals for the first 72 hours of an assault. After that, soldiers can expect to be issued MREs for meals until regular meal service is available. But what about the soldiers in tough-to-reach areas where meal service may never be available on a regular basis? Coming soon is the Unitized Group Ration Express. The Unitized Group Ration Express, which we refer to as a kitchen and a carton, has everything you need uh, in that shipping container. It has your entree, your vegetable, your starch, and your dessert, all of the supplemental items that you'd want, like a compartmented uh, dining tray, your disposable eatingware, uh, condiments, beverages, snacks, and all a warfight has to do is pull a tab and it will activate an exothermic reaction and you get a piping hot meal in about 40 minutes. Uh, so that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, in terms of having an ad additional variety uh, and something new in terms of a group setting so that those warfighters can eat together. So it's very important that whatever we put in and take out of a current fielded ration is warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, and warfighter approved. The first strike ration and the unitized ration express will be new items in the combat feeding directorate inventory. Expect to see them in the field sometime in the 2007 calendar year. Thanks for watching the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Mary Doyle.